Today's gonna be another, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing because we're gonna be making some cable ramps for the shop because now I have a table saw, a CNC, and the router all right in the middle of the shop and the cords are just kind of laying on the ground right now. And I could run them from the ceiling and I'll probably do that when I set up dust collection. But for now, this will be a fun project for the weekend and I wanted to make little puzzle piece joinery on the X-Carve. I could technically design this entire thing and have the X-Carve cut it out, but I did some testing with ramps and angles and it takes forever to cut. Here was my initial test on the X-Carve cutting a slope and it did a really good job. I actually like the way it looks, but this took 40 minutes to cut, just this two inch section because it went one, two, three, 100 different times. So not really the best use of my time or a very interesting video, but I did think of a cool way to use them in the future, which is cutting the slopes into the piece of wood or the plywood. I imagine it like some sort of locking mechanism where you have a wood spring and like maybe something slides up here and every time it passes this, it locks in. So I guess technically you could design the whole thing and have the X-Carve cut it out and it would take five or six hours. But where's the fun in that? So we're gonna use it just to cut the puzzle piece joints and then we'll do the rest on the table saw. Like the walnut knobs I made last week, this one took quite a few passes to figure out. And so this one is the shape that I wanted but was way too loose. Uh, this one, I pretty much made the exact same mistake, didn't change anything. This one, I finally got the right idea, but I made it too tight. So that one was close. And then finally on my fourth try, I have a really nice joint that I can't get out. While I was waiting for those test pieces to get cut, I glued up a couple pieces of plywood because I didn't think the three quarter inch plywood would be enough uh, to cut my dados in for the extension cords. Okay, now I've got these cut, got the bevel on both sides. Now before I cut these down to size, I'm gonna cut my dados in the middle. Those turned out pretty good. And ooh, it's a perfect fit. Look at that. I was planning on doing a door on top, but I'm not sure if I even need to. So I could be done there, but I want to make these a little more modular and make them extendable if I so choose. So I'm gonna do the, uh, the little puzzle piece joints Here's the setup. I've got the almost completed ramp in the X-Carve, and this is what we're looking at for the cutout. That's hopefully what it's gonna cut out. I was going to do one more test with a scrap piece of wood, but I thought, oh, that's enough tests. Let's just do it. So, here we go. Carve. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Look at those. All right, number three is going. So check this out. Woo! How nice is that? Pretty good, right? Well, I have one more to cut uh, that's blank, and I was planning on just keeping this one as a spare, but I'm thinking what I'll do is put the little puzzle pieces on the end and then cut it so that it makes like end caps for these so that no matter how many put it in the middle, I can always end them with nice smooth little ramps off the end. Oh wow, look at that. Isn't that nice? There it is all finished. I'm gonna throw a coat of varnish on it and then call it done. Okay, let's try it out. Look at that guys. how that turned out and now I can come over here and plug in my router because I used to not be able to do that there we go I would call it a success 
Well, I'm really happy with how that one turned out. I was expecting a lot less and it did its job and more. It looks really good, uh, it's sturdy. I'm happy I took the time to try the joinery on the X-Carve because now that I know it works this well, I'll probably build a bunch of these for church because we're always trying to tape down cords on stage, uh, in the hallways, anytime we have events. Success for me. Hopefully it was entertaining for you to watch. We will see you guys on Friday. Bye.